บาสคอยบาสคอour channel. My name is Marianne and we have Adrian. Hi. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. All right, so what are we going to do today? So for today's video, we will be doing a video reaction with this best ever food show video we're okay. in. Sunnyside went to Saigon, Vietnam. Yay! And yeah, Vietnam and he tried the peanut worm porridge. Did you say worm? Yes. Peanut worm porridge, okay. and this is uh, a rare food that he found in Saigon, Vietnam. So, is it rare? Or is it exotic? Um, it says rare. Have you ever tried eating worms? No, <laughs> and we'll never ever try. <laughs> Have you tried? No. Oh um, no. Have you tried? <laughs> you can comment below if you tried already eating a peanut worm or any kind of worm. Do you get? like worms in Philippines is that a delicacy here uh, as far as I know there is the coconut worm okay some people eat that here but I haven't tried that would you like wow. to try mm -hmm. um, I'll pass. <laughs> uh, let me see how does this guy uh, Sony right Sony What's yeah his name? Sony? Sony side Sony side I uh, love this guy oh. okay let's let's watch all right let's watch is they've taken the whole worm and they've kind of turned it inside out. Wow. They cook it. And so we're eating kind of the Oh, they're skin. removing oh the inside. Yeah. And they're turning it inside out. In the food industry, restaurants on busy streets and heavily trafficked sidewalks have it made. Yo, but what do you do when your food stall is in the middle yeah. of nowhere? How'd you find this spot? <laughs> not for delivery, not even online. Why is it that this food is so rare in this city? Today, we're uncovering restaurants no tourist has seen before. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be eating pasta in Vietnam. <laughs> in apartments, like back streets, <laughs> and quiet alleyways. <laughs> These hidden vendors <laughs> are serving up memorable food that keeps people coming back. No. What? From a rare worm filled lunch. Oh, it's got so much flavor. To the most it's exclusive like plate of noodles in the city. Do I use a fork, a spoon, or so chopsticks? This is the street food you never knew existed. Yeah. In Saigon, great food is everywhere. But where do you find the hidden, truly life changing bites? As an almost local here, I can Very answer nice that cake. question. How do you say the name of this food? Bangkok. 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 A little bit lower. Bangkok. Bang. <laughs> I mean, my friend and longtime friend of the show, Laum, can help me answer that question with his years of guiding experience. Well, let's see. According to him, the first rule to snatching up the best bites, you gotta be fast. Because some places are hidden simply because they sell out so quickly. Wow. So we're There's setting out demand. early in the morning to the house of one of the most obscure yet renowned Bangkok vendors. Ma'am, <laughs> Sin Chow, <laughs> you're on my show. <laughs> Miss Yai has been selling her crispy Vietnamese mini pancakes for more than 40 years now. She started her business before she knew what love was. What love was? Yeah. <laughs> Every day she fries up to 500 of these crispy treats, but they sell out in less than two hours. It's one of my favorite foods in Vietnam, but I can't ever find it in Saigon. So why is it that this food is so rare in this city? It's not that rare. There are many other places selling that, but I think oh. that she has something really special about this one so that it gets her more popular. Yeah, what is so special about yeah. hers? Yeah. There are two key selling love. points. The first one is the quality, mm. and the second one is sure. the price. It's very reasonable. Yeah, mm. yeah. Could we try your pork one? Yes, but it's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ground pork. Do you have anything vegetarian for me? Mmm, good. If I had any more, <laughs> that is so delicious. Even mm. by itself, it's juicy. It's got like a lot of body to it. I agree. Mmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> this business, as it's with really many other small that. local vendors, depends on the help and support of family and the community. Every no, day, her husband helps her delicious. set up her stall. Then the selling begins. 
She sets up on this neighborhood street and then tons of people keep passing by here. They catch sight of this or they smell it. It smells great. And then they stop by like us right now. There's two to choose from. We have the pork and the shrimp. We haven't tried the shrimp yet. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we should order right now. Yes. Yeah, the cod are usually wrapped into leaves like eating Korean barbecue. Yeah, However, here, mm. due to the high demand, she's deconstructed the dish yeah. for both convenience Vegetable. and to speed up the serving yeah. process. So the move here, you get a big shrimpy fried so delight here. Yeah. Put some pickled daikon, some herbs. Can you fit the whole thing in? It's quite big for my mouth. <laughs> it looks delicious. Do your best. <laughs> like salad. Here we go. Salad type of... Oh my god. <laughs> Too much? You could have eaten half. I, I mean, no one told you you had to eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> to me, absolutely delicious. These little shrimp cupcakes have like soaked up all this sweet fish sauce. Mm. When you mix that with the herb and the pickled daikon, oh my god, I... it's so delicious. The biggest surprise to okay. me, she's not even on Grab or anything online. All her business Radish. over these 40 years has just come from word of mouth and people like the news discovering her and sharing her amazing food with the rest of the community. So yeah. super awesome. Love it. Nice. In Saigon, a city of over 8 million, old style traditional apartments dot residential areas. Many of these classic buildings don't even have an oh. elevator. This means a demand for convenience has created an opportunity for new kinds of business in, in the places you least expect. Yeah. So we've come to an apartment building. Inside here, they've just set up little mini markets. There's actually a market oh, nearby, no. but the nearer the better. So they would come to the nearest one to get, you know, things. And this isn't the only one. Throughout this apartment yeah, complex, so there's true. little spots mm -hmm. here and there where people are selling food. There's even street food here. Yes. According to Lao, in Vietnam, you can always find great food where you least expect it, including Vietnamese pasta, Lam, yes. when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be eating pasta in Vietnam. So let's try it to see how it's different from the Italian one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you sure it's going to be different at all? It could be 100% the same. But this is not unusual in Vietnam. It's not unusual at all. This is one of the most common breakfasts. This homemade mm -hmm. comfort food was constructed and birthed by Miss Tu, a food vendor exclusive to these hallways, who's been living here for 20 years. Her creation starts with sautéed pasta with condiments. On the side, she fries up an egg and stir fry some beef with onions and mustard leaves. Plate it together and add pickled daikon and carrots and more condiments. Top with an egg, then eat. All right, let's try it out. Looks good. Mmm, how yummy. Mm. Tastes like breakfast oh, in Vietnam. Okay. Nice soft mm. noodles. It's sweet, it's salty, it's full of carbs, but it's got some nice meat in there too, and fried egg. And just like any good Vietnamese food, it's got a bunch of herbs in there yeah. to give it some balance. This is very unique because she has like a mini restaurant here. And I think it's the only kind of restaurant that you'll find in these hallways mm. of this apartment building. Yeah. And of course, she sells for mostly people who live in this apartment. That's the tough part. Like if you go to a restaurant on a busy street, their demographic is thousands of people. Mm. Here, it's like 100 people. And if those 100 people don't like you or your food, you're screwed. So yeah. I, I bet there's a lot of politics involved too. Sorry. Next. We're going to somewhere else. I'm not sure where yet. Let's cut. Our third tip to finding great food, go deep. Deep into the alleyways and smaller streets. Here, you can find all kinds of hidden food innovators. Xin chào cô. Xin chào cô. Why'd you have to translate my xin chào? Oh, sorry. No, it's fine, but why doesn't anyone here understand me? She did. Xin chào cô. <laughs> we nailed it! So, first of all, what you got? Oh. Oh. Oh, Lao is a popular local oh, drinking food made from braised animal organs, including pork, beef, duck, or all mixed together. Miss Min's recipe adds another twist to this ancient dish. She uses root beer to marinate the meat, which gives a unique here. flavor to this already unique dish. How long have you been putting root beer mixed with your animal organs? Initially, they would use like coconut juice to cook the intestine, the normal way. But one day from the balcony, she saw people marinate pork with these kind of things. They try it out and it seemed to be a success. Do people ever drink chili? root beer yeah. while eating this? So, yeah. No. Yeah, you can do that, why not? Fruit beer. I see a lot of fruit beer. 
Okay. In Southeast Asian countries. So we have the yeah, sauce, we have, we have here, some yeah. bread over here. Before we do all that, I think we should really just taste the plain intestine. And I'm going to tell you if there's any root beer like flavor. Oh, I Oh. So it's, it's kind of like sweet at first. Mm -hmm. It's you really hard to gluten? explain the texture. It's yeah, oily, it's, like it's juicy. Snack. I actually yeah, really like the drinking. texture. But man, is that a powerful taste? It is so yeah, intense. That and chocolate. I think that's why a lot of people don't chocolate. eat it a lot. They're gonna mix it with some bread, <laughs> cucumber, if you're you. Not for me. They also have some salt here, some chili. chili yeah. And then this gravy. Wow, and this looks spicy too. So I'm gonna get that soaked up Ooh. and then I'm gonna try that out and see if that makes a difference. Yeah. Let's go for it. Getting in the bread. Mm. Better. Mm. Better than eating it alone. It's too powerful on its own. And the best part, wash it down with some root beer. There you go, pork really intestines hot. made mm -hmm. in a very like creative that. way. This place has withstood the test of time. They've been here 30 years, 20 years with this root beer recipe. So I think the food speaks for itself. People here like it, mm. so it's a big hit. That's right. Oh, yeah, Our next world. hidden restaurant God. has a dish so <laughs> out of this world, you may wish it had stayed hidden. But what it lacks in appearance, it makes up for in obscure health Look benefits. Thing. Therefore, foodie finding tip okay. number four is keep an open mind. This is a restaurant specializing in porridge, but not just any type of porridge. Mm -hmm. I believe you're holding a bowl full of worms, ma'am. Is this true? Miss Wynn took over this business from her father-in-law, <laughs> who'd been running it for more than 30 years. They sell over six pounds of peanut worm per day, making it their best seller. Oh, when you first introduced it, really was worm, it popular? Or? people a little skeptical or freaked out? The majority of people who came here, they actually repair for us. They saw it somewhere else already, so they come here and dry it. For those who scare of this, mm. they just ask them to put it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are there any special health benefits? The obvious benefit of eating the peanut worm is to enhance your male function. <laughs> yeah, I think you know it. <laughs> it can hurt. For women, Real. it's very good for oh, skin. Me. Make your skin right. look nicer. I can't wait to try it. I've you never had that. worm <laughs> porridge. It's going to be a first for me. But hey, male stamina, right? And nice skin. <laughs> the worm congee starts with boiled rice porridge, then the protein, pork liver, intestine, yeah. shrimp, kidney, more pork, and fish fillet, then their homemade sauce. Finally, peanut worms that have been cleaned, gutted, and turned inside out. Doesn't look bad after Yeah, one of the thing is they removed the inside. And garnished with sesame oil, so scallions, and like ground black pepper. Yeah. Mmm, smells <laughs> hearty, rich. Let me see what's his reaction. Do you think he's, he's going to try that? Mmm, porridge itself is very good. Rich, savory, what's up? So but far, he's avoiding it. Yeah, yeah. Straight up meat. meat. We got just some straight up meat here. But I know him, I've watched all of his videos. He's mm. really trying. Classic pork, delicious. Those what is this? I think fish. Let's see. Literally every animal in here. Fishy. Yeah, it's so much stuff in here. It's like the Lion King. <laughs> Everything the sun touches is in our bowl. <laughs> Um, what else? Kidney? Yeah, kidney. Let's go for it. Kidney. So it has a mix of everything. Mm, I think it's delicious. Mm -hmm. In or fact, meat. I don't want to spoil it by eating too much. I think oh. we're good. You done? Yeah, I think, did we <laughs> miss I anything? The, the shrimp? I mean, the he worm. You didn't have the yeah. worm. Are you sure? Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I almost didn't eat the worm. Holy shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. I really like him. Oh. Oh, it's got so much flavor. I thought it would be flavorless. The texture is really tough, really chewy. Remember when we had worms in the meat? That one. <laughs> Don't remind me of that no, one I, anymore. The feeling is still fresh in my mind, you know. Also, they had one in the. I don't know. When you eat the coconut video. worm, okay. the skin of it is so crunchy, that. and chewy, and it's similar have. here. When they serve, like you should eat it first mm. because the longer you keep it, the chewier it becomes. So start with the worm. Mm. Yeah, we didn't do that at all. <laughs> Overall, it's not bad, but I'm not gonna come back and get it again, like ever. Yeah, the only adjective that I can use to describe this one is just like I, gave up the idea I just love that this place was open over 25 years, and then they said, let's have worms. That takes a lot of confidence. Yeah. It's like you, if you've been single for 10 years, and you're like, I'm gonna get a mullet. Wow, it's a little queer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The final tip for food hunting, be ready to go the distance. Some shops have stayed alive through word of mouth and special recipes alone. Our final location is a perfect back. example of that. Mm, not sure. 
hidden away in a dark back alley where you'd never expect to see a thriving food shop. They're selling Vietnamese pizza. So we are way the heck pizza. out here. Back in some alleyway. How'd you find this spot? Well, just like uh, from, you know, like uh, rents and the internet and things like that. Cool. Was it really just a producer? The producer just brought us here, right? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Here, this is what we're here for. This is called Bang Cheng Nung. This treat is loved throughout Vietnam. But each it's vendor the puts their own twist on it. Uh, Quail eggs, scallions, dried shrimpies, minced it. pork, and sliced hot dogs are the most common ingredients you'll find. But here, the owner, Miss Hung, added her own twist using her past experience as a barbecue pork vendor. Here it starts with some gorgeous processed cheese spread over rice paper. Then dried rice shrimp, paper. fried scallions, minced pork, fried onions, chili oil, and chili sauce. Then barbecue pork, beef jerky, and finally sliced hot dog or scissored hot dog. Yeah, scissored hot See. dog. Roast it up until the rice paper is nice and crispy. I'm gonna fold mine like a taco. Oh yes. It's like a taco. Crease. Oh man, there's so much stuff on there. It's sweet, it's savory. I like it. I like it better than the one that we tried before. It whisks you away India, there's something called to an ocean side it's like that. island. It's all on the top. It give much more flavor with the creole pork rather than only like a quail egg or cheese and some like string bee things on the top. Mm, there's so much to it. Mm, it's so affordable. I mean, if I lived on this alleyway, I'd definitely come here all the time, especially if I was uh, drunk. What is that? Drunk, like D-R-U-N-K. D-R-U-N-K, yeah, drunk. Yeah, if I was in the situation <laughs> that I was drunk, <laughs> I, I would come here and eat. Look at yeah. But I can be sober too, Based like right it. now. My producers don't let me drink anymore. Look at us. <laughs> Today's interesting because it's just all about these hidden restaurants throughout Saigon. 99% of the places we usually go to are on the main streets. They have thousands of people walking by or driving by each it's day. Just, they just have to have um, some good food and then they're good. Ago. But everywhere we went today, they don't have all the walk by traffic. Days ago. So they have yeah, to be consistent, it has to be affordable. And are, I think you know, even more, it has to be personable. Mask. It's a whole different world than the rest of the city. So no, absolutely 100%. Saigon is in But some people are already wearing masks. In the year 2035, when humanity is once again allowed to resume unrestricted international travel. All right. So that's peanut worm porridge. Question, are you willing to try it? Um, <laughs> but I like the way he's so open to trying these exotic foods. Yeah, he is. That's why uh, I love this guy. Yeah, I think there's one uh, video he's done in uh, Africa. Yeah, in so, Namibia. Okay, that, that's going to be interesting. So Yes, we'll be doing a reaction video for that, guys. The interesting thing is most of these places are all down in... Uh, some neighborhoods which like are in the street yeah and you have to go hunting for these places and they've been Thrill. in existence for uh, 20 years 15 years or more than 10 years yeah so it's just pretty good like these kind of places especially uh if you see that has hardly you know there's a, a woman is just sitting there and, and she's just cooking and, and within a few hours everything is sold out yes so i'm sure the food is really tasty and uh, when we go to Vietnam, I think we should, you know, explore these places as well and try the food. But yeah, for me, uh, I'll have to try the vegetarian option. You can try all the food. Not the worm. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, not for the worm. Maybe I'll try that pizza. I like yeah. the pizza. Yeah, I just need to uh, maybe take off all the all the meat from that and give it to you. And, and probably just uh, the remaining. All right. So if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to again hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. Bye. Thank you and see you again in our next video. Bye. Bye.